Hello friends, welcome back to my Christmas stories. Today we will be reading Aurora's Homemade Holiday. One snowy December day, Princess Aurora and Prince Philip went for a stroll. As they walked, Philip noticed that the princess was unusually quiet. Is something the matter? he asked. My aunts and I used to love Christmas time, she said. The three fairies, Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather, had raised Aurora in secret, and she still thought of them as her aunts. Let's invite them for the holidays, Philip said. What a splendid idea, Aurora cried. The next morning, Prince Philip sent an invitation to Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. Then he set off on a short trip to attend some royal duties. Aurora was sad to see Philip go, but she tried to look on the bright side. Now, her special Christmas preparations would be a surprise for Philip when he returned. Mm -hmm. Soon the good fairies arrived. Princess Aurora had a special request for them. You want a Christmas exactly like the ones we shared at the cottage? Flora asked. That means we can't use magic. You'd better take our wands so we're not tempted to use them, Fauna said to Aurora. But the wands were hard to catch and zoomed around the room. They did not like the idea of being put away. Shall we decorate, Aurora asked. She led the fairies to baskets of evergreen garland, ornaments, and boughs. Let's start trimming the tree, Merryweather exclaimed. We should hang the evergreen garland first, Flora said. Aurora knew that waiting for her aunts to agree on something could take all day. So she suggested that she and Flora put up the evergreen garland while Fauna and Merryweather decorated the Christmas tree. After a busy morning, the last stocking was filled, was finally hung above the fireplace. Then Aurora and the fairies moved on to the kitchen. It was time to begin baking their Christmas treats. I can't wait until Philip tastes your special layer cake, Aurora said, and the Christmas rolls with jam inside. We'll need lots of red frosting, Flora announced. Green frosting is prettier, Merryweather argued. We'll use both, Aurora declared. The next morning over breakfast, Aurora and the good fairies talked about a gift for Philip. I want to give him a homemade present, Aurora said to her aunts. But what? How about a shirt, Flora suggested. But I don't know how to sew, the princess replied. We'll show you how, Merryweather said. Aurora smiled. Do you remember the stockings you sewed when I was a little girl, she asked. Of course, Flora said. We forgot to stitch up the bottoms and the gifts fell out. You'd say, look, her stocking is empty. We'd better fill it up with more treats, Aurora said chuckling as she remembered the happy times she had shared with the fairies. All morning, the fairies worked with Aurora, teaching her how to cut fabric and how to sew a shirt. Oh dear, the princess said when she looked down at her sewing, this shirt isn't looking quite right. The fairies quickly set aside their own projects to help Aurora with Philip's shirt. When Aurora finished Philip's gift, the fairies helped her get ready. The prince would be home soon. The fairies made a crown of holly for the princess's hair. Next, they had to decide what she would wear. Flora suggested a red dress. Merryweather preferred a blue one. Then Fauna held up a beautiful purple gown. Aurora tried it on. The dress was perfect. Even Flora and Merryweather had to admit the purple dress looked lovely on the princess. The last thing Aurora had to do was wrap the prince's gift. Once again, she asked for the fairy's help. When they were finished, the princess placed the present under the tree. That afternoon, Prince Philip arrived back at the castle. Aurora was eagerly waiting for him. Close your eyes, the princess said with a sly grin, and don't open them until I tell you to. Aurora led Philip into the grand hall, where Flora, Fauna and Merryweather were waiting. Okay, now open your eyes, Aurora exclaimed. Philip looked around. Crooked wreaths dangled from the walls. 
the Christmas tree was decorated only on one side. Lopsided cakes, burnt tarts, and misshapen cookies filled the table. I have never seen preparations like these before, Philip said politely. I can understand why you find them so mm, special. Try a lemon tart, Aurora said, holding out a plate. Philip took one and bit into it. Suddenly a strange look came over his face. The lemon tart tasted horrible. Oh dear, Fauna said. We must have forgotten the sugar. Aurora handed Philip his gift. One more surprise, she said. A shirt? The prince exclaimed after opening the box. But when Philip tried on his present, the princess and the fairies burst into laughter. Oh dear, that's certainly not the right size, Aurora said. The sleeves were too, the sleeves were too far, too long. Aurora knew her Christmas wasn't perfect, but sharing a homemade holiday with Philip and her aunts made it the best one Aurora could remember. Thank you for listening to my Christmas stories. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon, friends.